Bahrain has always been a regional hub, whether it's for trade, banking, for every international company opening an office here in Bahrain, they come for at least the GCC. So it means we are well located and we have the adequate infrastructure, governance to attract international firms. It's important for us to be accompanying our clients when they invest or do trade outside of Bahrain. As we know, uh, things are changing very fast in Saudi Arabia. We need to capitalize on this sudden you know, development in Bahrain. We have an excellent relationship with Saudi Arabia, at commercial level, investment level, at political level. So it's important that we can capture this business between the two countries. We have a similar situation in the UAE where we want to capitalize on the business flows between the three countries. Bahrain is very well perceived in the GCC. It's important that we also grow in the GCC. Well, the banking sector has many roles to play in this vision 2030. As banks, we are expected to finance the development of the economy. But I think there is a more comprehensive service we can provide to various sectors. And we support the small companies, which are the backbone of the economy. But of course, we support the large projects, government corporates in their endeavors within the framework of the Vision 2030 plan. There are a lot of opportunities coming up. We need to be able to have the tools to address all these segments, be it retail, small companies, large companies, government. I think it's important to see that the banking market in Bahrain is small, so we need to have investments from outside Bahrain for different sources. It could be through international banks, it could be through credit agency, it could be through investment from neighboring countries. All this needs to be orchestrated, and I think the role of the banks locally is to ensure that we gather all the pieces of the puzzle to support and finance this project, and uh, do the advisory part as well. COVID has a number of effects, but one of them was digitalization, which has accelerated our acquisition of clients and diversified our range of products. We had started our journey with the retail app. COVID has enabled us to review our business model, how we address clients and how we support staff as a national bank. We had to be close to small companies to help them to overcome the situation. We have structured some development programs to support staff and have helped them to gain leadership. COVID has uh, helped us to accelerate our ESG journey. I would say it's a new concept in this region, particularly in Bahrain. NBB was the first bank to take it extremely seriously. Today, we are the second bank in the region in terms of ESG. We have addressed all the pillars uh, in Bahrain that we take ESG seriously. And that has been one of the uh, consequences of the COVID situation. Banks need to lead in the ESG field, be seen as supporting environmentally friendly financing. I think Bahrain as a country is very inclusive. It's a community which has welcomed foreigners for centuries. And if you look at statistics in terms of employment of women, for example, in higher position, we rank very good, not only in the region, even globally. So there is a natural ground to ensure that ESG prospers. I think areas where we probably need to bring more attention is on the environmental side for clean energy, solar companies turning greener financing, more comprehensive energy approach and taking into account all the requirements. Compared to some other regions, the Middle East region lagging a bit behind in terms of ESG, but they are moving fast and I would say Bahrain is doing well. We need to support the companies which make efforts in this area to have the best governance possible along international standards. So the banks have a role to play because as banks we finance. Any initiative we take is seen by the market, is reflected also in the way we lend. For example, we have started lending for solar panels, for electric cars. We include some clauses for financing in terms of environments and so on. We have a role to play to drive uh, this agenda of ESG. These are two very important direction which have been embraced by the banking community across the world. We want to replicate that here.